Sarojini Naidu, the fearless Indian woman and political activist. Sarojini Naidu, called the Nightingale of India, was born on 13 February 1879 in Hyderabad of Bengali parents. As a poet, she touched a million hearts with her timeless compositions. Sarojini Naidu was one of the fierce freedom fighters in India. She studied at the University of Madras, King's College London and at Cambridge University. Sarojini Naidu joined the Indian National Congress after the partition of Bengal in the year 1905 and participated in Gandhi's Satyagraha movement. She became the first Indian woman to be appointed as President of the Indian National Congress in 1925 and went on to be appointed an Indian State Governor. Her literary works are admired by people all over the world. Some of her renowned creations include In the Bazaars of Hyderabad, The Golden Threshold, The Bird of Time, The Queen's Rival, The Royal Tombs of Golconda. She was imprisoned multiple times for joining the civil disobedience movement and the Quit India movement. Sarojini Naidu was deeply disturbed and dismayed by the rift between the Hindus and the Muslims. Under the guidance of Lokmanya Tilak, Naidu played a vital role in bringing about cooperation and harmony between Congress and the Muslim League. No Indian could be loyal to the country and yet be narrow and sectarian in spirit. No matter whether it was temple or mosque, church or fire shrine, let them transcend the barriers that divide man from the man, were her emotional and profound words. Sarojini Naidu had said, The day Indians eradicate their differences and find a common ground, we will surely find harmony and success. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, in his homage to Sarojini Naidu, said, Here was a person of great brilliance, vital and vivid. She infused artistry and poetry into our national struggle. She represented in herself a rich culture into which flowed various currents which have made Indian culture as great as it is. She breathed her last on 2nd March 1949 in Lucknow at the age of 70. February 13th, her birthday is observed as Women's Day in India. <laughs>